I have very clear and fond memories of the half dozen or so magic conventions I've attended. All of them involved attending workshops and learning from some of the world's greatest magicians. Other memories included watching the evening shows and the competitions of the gifted, up-and-coming magicians who had the guts and stamina to actually compete on a global level with some of the best. Heck, I even was acquainted with the boy who won the very first gold medal ever awarded for stage competitions. This was a great personal coup for him and eventually landed him regular cruise ship gigs for years. Brilliant marketing strategy. Of course, back then, if you wanted to advance your magic career globally, you had no choice but to go this route, as there weren't the million-dollar television competition shows that exist today. For the rest of us everyday working magicians, we were content to have our agents working for us, helping us to have enough gigs to pay that mortgage, and yes, it was those of us who spent most of our hard-earned magic dollars at the gasp dealer's rooms and at their booths. For many of us, the dealer's booths were, and still are, besides the evening shows, the highlight of the convention, let alone rubbing shoulders with a Copperfield or a Goshman. Yes, I delighted in taking home that treasure or treasures that was sure to make me a star. Oh, and those collectibles. I believed that surely that lapel pin will be worth zillions one day, so the half zillion I shelled out for it was more than justified. I'll never forget those brunches and dinners at the hotels where the conventions were held, where I was seated at the same table as the fellow who invented the newspaper tear or with the magi who created awe and wonder with safety pins. Amazing, cherished memories. Imagine how flabbergasted I was years later when I was asked to have a magic dealer's table at a West Coast magic convention many years ago. What an honor! To this day, I'm still humbled and grateful for the opportunity I was given, but that's a whole other story.